Dragon Ball GT is by far the most disliked Dragon Ball anime in the franchise. I can't say that I agree with the hate because I watched Dragon Ball GT when I was a kid and to be honest, I liked it more than Z at the time. You need to leave. Now before you all try to find my address and beat my ass, chill. I was a very young kid and this was what was showing on the morning cartoon channel at the time. I was very young so clearly I didn't know what the f was going on in the show and I haven't watched it since. Nowadays, I easily prefer Z over GT, especially since I'm reading the manga while watching the anime. While researching information on Dragon Ball video games, I came across something interesting. The first Dragon Ball game released in North America was a game called Dragon Ball GT Final Belt. My curiosity got the best of me and I wanted to see what Dragon Ball GT Final Belt was all about. That was bad, I'm sorry, just cue the f***ing intro. Dragon Ball GT Final Belt was released in Japan, Europe, and North America in 1997. Like I mentioned in the intro, Final Belt was the first Dragon Ball game released in North America. Japan might as well have sent over a literal turd, and I'll explain why shortly. Final Belt was the first Dragon Ball game to ever be fully rendered in 3D, and was released on the PlayStation. So not only did we get sh**, but we got sh** in 3D. Nice. I don't understand why this game was titled Dragon Ball GT Final Belt, when in Japan it was just Dragon Ball Final Belt. The game doesn't connect to GT's plot in any way, it's just a fighting game with characters from Z and GT, that's it. The original Japanese voice lines were scrapped aside from the in-combat voice lines. Bandai casted uncredited voice actors to replace the majority of the dialogue and it's hilarious how different the characters sound from the dubbed anime. Just listen to Piccolo. You look strong, this should be a good fight. Now. Should I clean the trash of the universe? This game received mostly negative reviews with IGN giving it a measly 3 out of 10. This was the most surprising review out of all in my opinion. I'm just glad they didn't give it a 7 out of 10. If you know, you know. Dragon Ball GT Final Bout came at a very interesting time to the United States. At the time, Dragon Ball Z had barely begun airing with an English dub and at one point stopped airing due to low ratings. At the time, Dragon Ball Z was still airing up to the Frieza Saga and nothing more. Imagine picking this game up and seeing Kid Buu, Super Saiyan Kid Goku, Cell, or even Super Saiyan 4 Goku without ever having seen them in the anime. My mind would have been blown. Dragon Ball GT Final Bout includes three different game modes. The first game mode being battle mode which is basically the arcade mode in every other fighting game. You can either play against a CPU or a literal man. As you progress through the battle mode you unlock characters such as Little Super Goku or Super Saiyan Trunks. The second game mode is tournament mode where you select up to 8 fighters and either play against a CPU or another person to progress the tournament. The final game mode is build up mode. It's literally just Dragon Ball Fortnite. No not really. It's a game mode where you can select any character from the roster and train them and even get their power level to triple digits and save that powered up character to a memory card. If you are enjoying the video so far, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on weekly content. Let's get the channel to 1000 subscribers. Your support means everything to me. Also, like the video and comment what you think about Dragon Ball GT Final Bout. Have you played it? Share your cool gaming stories with everyone else and also join the new Power Official Discord. You can find the link in the description below and will also be pinned in the comments. I want to get the good out of the way first since there isn't much. When you select a fighter they spit out some dialogue and so does the enemy and I thought that was a very neat touch. Also I personally think that the character models look decent. Although with showing its age, at the time, I would have been hyped due to how similar they look to their anime counterpart. I'm impressed by how awesome the special attacks like the Kamehameha and the Gala Gun appear in the game. They're easily the most visually stunning aspect of the whole experience. The build up mode is also a very cool addition since it allows you to focus on a character of your choice and power them up and you can even use them when playing against another player and completely destroy them. Now onto the bad which is basically everything else. First off the presentation is lame. The main menu screen is extremely bland and feels dead. They didn't even add background music to the main menu. While the character models look okay, the backgrounds of the actual fight stages are terrible. There's nothing that catches the eye, it's also generic looking. If you are a fan you might recognize some of the stages, but I feel like the bare minimum requirement was met just for the stages. The gameplay in Final Bout is some of the slowest, clunkiest, and irritating combat I've ever experienced in any fighting game. The basic controls are you block with X, punch with square, kick with circle, and key blast with triangle, as well as dash with L1 and R1. L2 and R2 are used to initiate meteor combos. The player movement is slow as f simply moving left or right and the character literally looks like they're dragging their feet. Dashing helps with this a bit, but another main issue is how unresponsive the controls are. You hold down R1 to dash, but it takes about half a second to actually begin dashing. Pressing either square to punch or circle to kick also take about half a second to register, which results in the slowest punching and kicking in any fighting game ever. 
I was really frustrated during my playthrough and I kept losing especially to this little sh**. But then I decided to swallow my pride and I looked up the moves list. After this, it was a wrap. These little sh** couldn't stop me. I was whooping the CPU's ass, but every single time, it ended up turning into a special move spam fest. I would initiate my special attack and either it would get countered and I would get blasted, or I would land and then the CPU would initiate their special attack. While the visuals looked great during the special attacks, it slowed down the gameplay even more which led to further frustration. I tried initiating meteor combos, but every single time they would get countered and holy sh** the meteor combos are some of the longest combos ever and they totally suck. Except the Super Saiyan Goku one, where he was using instant transmission to fuck me up. It looked awesome but lasted forever. Also, the camera in this game is terrible. If you land even a single kick, it sends the CPU flying back and the camera cuts to the CPU and completely leaves you out of the frame. Overall, I have to say that this is by far the worst fighting game I've played to date. This doesn't even give that Star Wars fighting game a run for its money. Should you play Dragon Ball GT Final Bout? I would not recommend playing this game. It's a very frustrating experience, even when you learn how to pull off combos and different special moves, it's still extremely slow and frustrating. But I want to know your opinion, have you ever played Dragon Ball GT Final Bout? Let me know in the comments below, and also don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you guys next week.